Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at Fleetwood's middle of the road Class A gas motorhome. I love this because it's definitely so not entry level, but it's also not $300,000 luxury level. This is the perfect combination of quality and price. This is a 2022 Fleetwood Fortis model 34 MB with the optional full body paint. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you guys three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited to be showing you the Fleetwood Fortis with the optional full body paint. It looks beautiful, but before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! You can tell it's the start of the final day with it my voice. It is, you are starting to lose your voice. Yes! But you know what? Uh, it's been so long since I've seen a Fortis. Right. I'm super excited, I love Fleetwood. Yes. I can't wait to see what they've done. Yes. So here we go now. And Andrea, there's something of real big improvement on this Fortis that was never available on the older Fortises. You guys oh, gotta stick around. Okay. Model is Fleetwood Fortis 34 MB. The actual tip to tip length is 38 feet 11 inches. Again, guys, it's the Fleetwood Fortis. It is not a bounder or a south wind. It's below that, but it's a big step above the flare. Also, this is Fleetwood and its sister products to the Holiday Rambler. The Holiday Rambler has the Invicta, which literally looks the exact same. The only difference is that we'll have a Holiday Rambler. This is gonna say Fleetwood. Love the headlight design, love this. Love the lights here. This is mean and aggressive looking, doesn't it? Oh, I like it. I always think motorhomes look like faces, and I love, this is a, this this face is saying, hey. Get out of my way. I'm cool. No, he's not saying get out of yes, my way. Yes, it is. No, he's look, saying it's like. it's got a little, little uh, mouth too right here. No, 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 you know what he's saying? He's saying, Get out of my way or else. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> is what is that? Mobileye? Yeah, Mobileye oh, wow. collision mitigation, nice front windshield and everything. Now, normally this comes with partial body paint, but if you back up and you look down the side, this does have the optional full body paint, which looks absolutely fantastic. This does sit on the F53 chassis, which means it has a 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 pound feet of torque. Right here, we got chrome mirrors, left side, right side, and reverse side with cameras integrated in the mirrors. And then look at these tires, Dre. They're the Michelins. I love those. Uh, LT 2255-80R22.5 with these shiny alcohol rims. Now, Andrea, this is still the bigger chassis. It's still the bigger tires. So this is gonna give you the same type of driving experience as a bounder or a south wind. Do you know what that means? Yes. That means it can all, you can also option this with the all new liquid spring. Guys, all these gas motorhomes, the reason why gas doesn't drive as well as diesel, these are spring suspension, a diesel motorhomes air ride suspension. That's how you get that so much better ride. Well, not anymore, guys. Not with liquid spring. Liquid spring is a, combu a combustible liquid spring system. It's very expensive. It goes on all four corners of the motorhome, and it's what the ambulances uses and everything. And guys, we have a whole video of us test driving a Class A gasoline motorhome with liquid springs and guys let me tell you it drove like a dream it rides like a diesel motorhome so if you guys we will link that video down below but that's super exciting you know why it's exciting andrea yes you can get it done at the manufacturer exactly the price of liquid spring is kind of expensive you know so to get it as an option on the motorhome that's a win-win coming on down the side here we do got frameless windows throughout the motorhome right here we got TV on the outside, Sansui. Outdoor speakers. Yes. Oh, and then right there, Andre, is the awning button. So while that's coming out, let's check what's going on right here. Right here, we got your inverter, battery disconnect switch and everything. Everything's gonna be right there. Speakers on the outside. Over here, we got some storage. Very nice, slam latch door. 
fiberglass stained latch door, not aluminum. We got that there. And then right here, we got the propane right here. And here, bing, you guys can see the tank so everybody can see it. And then Andrea, look at that. Huge power awning with LED lights. What say you? Yes, it's, it's a nice awning. I'm not really fond of the white underneath because it gets dirty so fast. Right. And then all you gotta do is hold the button and then the awning will automatically retract itself back in. There's also a wind sensor on the awning. So if the wind blows too hard, it will automatically retract itself back in. Coming on down, we got storage there. You know what that is there? Propane quick connect. Yes, ma'am. And then here we got more storage. Uh-oh, we got my favorite ladder. Very nice, more storage. And then those are replacement tiles for the floor. Coming around the back, Andrea, we have a nice fiberglass rear cap. 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Backup camera right there. Also, there is a ladder to get up on the one-piece TPO roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. Uh-oh. Hold on. Here we go. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice, fully walkable one-piece TPO roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Solar panel right here. Right here's your wine guard digital antenna. Wi-Fi Ranger and a satellite dish already on top. And then let's do a 360 view of Motorhome Specialist. This is a huge dealership, y'all. All right. Be careful. Three steps. Last up. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking this fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Andrea, show what's going on on the other side, please. All right, on this side here, we have our city water connection, our uh, black tank flush. Let's see what's in here. Oh, there's our generator. Yeah. Wow. Coming zone and 5,500. Cool. It's funny, it's always like weird because I always think it's always up there, but this one's back here. Always, wherever you least expect it. You'll fill up? Yep. 50 amp power cord right there. Other side storage. Auto transfer switch. Ooh, nice. Look yes. what they did with the water heater. Water heater and outdoor shower fully painted. America, you're spending a ton of money on a paint job. It needs to look good. Gonna get a new you. All right. What Andrea. Can I get a hoo yeah, brother? Hoo yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Dump station. There was also a water filtration system there. Storage. And, oh, I didn't see that one. Oh, I'm sorry. Andre, you got Storage. me cracking up. Well, oh because my God. you wanted me, you said it, and I just said it like you, because mm -hmm. that's what you said. But I didn't expect you to do well, that. I did it exactly like you. <laughs> <laughs> you Storage guys. here. Guys, if you Sometimes guys could be so silly, you guys. If you could I'm have sorry. seen her face when she did that. <laughs> okay, Andrea, the outside of the motorhome looks beautiful, but you know it's a Fleetwood, and Andrea loves her Fleetwood. I do. The inside looks even better. Let's go. Take a look. All right. Don't forget the cargo carrying capacity. Three thousand sixteen pounds. Nice. All right, coming in, everybody. Slide is in. It's cool in here. Yeah, That's... they have the AC on overnight. Nice. Feels okay. Nice. So look at this. Good walkway. You know, definitely. You know, a lot better. Um, plenty of space through here. You can definitely open the fridge. It's kind of chilly in here, actually. Uh, I'm walking through here. You can get to the bathroom easily, and you can use the bed with the slide in. And I'm really liking the colors in here. Oh, yeah. I see a difference already. Oh, you do? I do. Well, oh, Andrea, before you tell everybody, while I'm getting the slide out, out, we got to give a big shout out to our sponsor, RV Life. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. 
With RV Life Pro, you get RV Life Trip Wizard. You can find all the national parks, state parks, city and local parks, even the Corps of Engineers in the BLM lands. You'll also be able to find every campground brand and clubs from AAA to Yogi Bear, Good Sam, Thousands Trails, KOAs, and more. Travel dreams and destinations are made simple with RV Life Trip Wizard, and that's a part of RV Life Pro. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. Wow. Wow. Very pretty. It's nice. This is my cup of tea, Andrea. And it's it's a you say it's just above the flare, so it's kind of crazy. It's a good price point, you know what I'm saying? It's a good price point. Andrea, let's get started with the cockpit area. 7.3 liter V8. You got your auto leveling right here, cup holders here, screen right there, very nice. Here's your dash area, nice steering wheel and everything. You got your camera here, which is gonna be Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Cup holders there, a little cubby nook right over here. Andre, how do you feel in the co-captain seat? This seat is super comfortable. Yes, look how I mean, big it is. I mean, this is the kind of seat you definitely want to right. swivel because it feels just like a recliner. Yes. Um, it doesn't have the foot thing though, but I do like that they gave you the workstation. Solid. And you got a cup holder here. Right. Like we got a, a cigarette lighter yeah. thing. Um, we've got MCD private shades. Yes. Privacy shades. You say private shades. Yes. Private shades, I Private said. Private shades. And, um, yeah. Little nooks. Cu little cubbies. Storage here above. Nice. No and little on nook. the other side. Yes. And, guys, look. It's nice because, you know, the chairs are very comfortable. Adds to your living space. And you have a pedestal table that goes here. And they both swivel. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Now we got a bunk over the cab here. Hide aloft. It's very thin. 500 pounds, I 600 believe. pounds, is Andrea. It? Yes. Is, oh, they changed it. It hasn't always been 600, Matt. I think it has been. I don't think so. I don't know. But, you know, they use this thin mattress. Right. It's but okay. it's still a good size. I mean, look at it. Yep. But again, guys, I mean, it is ladder. for your... Yeah, there is a ladder that goes with it. And at the end of the day, it is for your non-paying customers. Can you hold this button up, please? Sure. And then, while Andre is getting the bunk bed up, yes. I'm going to be here at the dinette. We do got a little bit of storage underneath the dinette. Very nice. Power and cell phone chargers underneath the dinette. And this is a good size dinette. Now, it's definitely not as comfortable as, as the, the Bounder Fleetwood and yeah, you know the, the but, Bounder. But it's still, it's still doable. Uh, cup holders here. Wow. And then uh, only the privacy blinds, no daytime blinds. And then look at these balances. Andrea? Approved! Bing! Oh! How could I not approve them? It's Fleetwood. I know, right? It's just like, I can't wait until Fleetwood comes out with a design that you don't like the balances. <laughs> I don't know. But I have yet to see that. It's like, guys, listen, like, here's what you don't understand like, Integra and Thor and everybody, some of their brands they pass, some of their brands they fail. It seems like every fleet would pass. Right. And I love how they put the light above the side. It just has a really nice ambiance. Yes. There. Show us this kitchen. Yes. Oh my goodness. Look at all this counter space, solid surface, very pretty. Um, electrical outlet. Yes. Three drawers here. I really do like the handles. It's got the frosted cabinetry above with the adjustable shelf. Yes. And they give you a farmhouse sink. Very nice. Love the farmhouse sink. We have an extension here. And let's see, nice storage under there for a trash can. Yes, ma'am. Got a cubby up here and a, oh, a convection microwave. Very nice. Wow, I love the backsplash, very cute. Andrea, you see the humidity in here? Yeah. Here, it's hang on. it was so cold in here. Hang on. Matt was here. Uh-uh. <laughs> Make sure you guys smash that <laughs> thumbs up button. <laughs> Big Hot of Three burner propane Dometic cooktop. Yes. An oven. Very nice. Nice. And a drawer down here. Okay. And then they give you the Insignia uh, 
compressor refrigerator here. Yeah, this is the size of our fridge, and, right. it, and it's nice. It gets the job done. Definitely. Okay, and then I believe I'm just gonna come over here because I think this is where the uh, pantry is. Okay. Wow. Yep. Oh, MG, look at this. Oh yeah. Come here. Look I at love that. that. Storage and storage. Oh my goodness, I would love that. It's like the secret that. cupboard. Yes. Nice storage up there. Yes. Wow. And then Andrea, look at this artwork. Art deco? Um, I don't know, maybe, but I don't think so. Let you us know what, what you think. Like? I've been getting um a lot of people that are like, oh, Andrea, that is art deco. You know what this looks like? A peacock? <laughs> it looks like a peacock if we were looking at him straight down. True. And he had all his feathers out. Or she. Peacocks, he or she. <laughs> uh, nice storage above the sofa, or the entertainment sofa. Yes, very nice. Nice window there, lots of light. Yep, and there's a little countertop behind there. And then Andrea, oh, this is a theater seat. Right here we got a remote holder. I'm not gonna lie, I am not gonna lie, America. I am not gonna lie. This actually isn't that comfortable. It doesn't look like it. No, it's not. I mean, it is, and it's fine. It is and it's fine. It's very firm. Right. right? It's not you like I'm sinking sink in. It. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Right. And interesting. look at this. Look what they did over here. This is interesting to me how they have this. Yeah. Well, there's a light switch somewhere. Wow. There is. I don't know. But there's a light and it illuminates behind the TV. Are you serious? Yeah. I would love to see that. <laughs> Andrea, I Oh, uh, we have the TV right here, a Sansui. And as you go down, you have a nice fireplace there, which is an excellent source of heat. Um, that's weird, Matt. I wonder where it is. Don't worry about it. We'll find it. We will find it for the end of the day. See, now I now have you all turn the off on. all the lights. Come on, man. Is it this one? Oh, I found it. You okay. Found it? Yep, I did. So as you can see, there's light right there, which is very interesting. Nice. And then there is a yep. fireplace right there. Now, we, Andrea already showed you the pantry, but what she didn't show you is that oh! this has a stackable washer and dryer. Nice, Whirlpool. Andrea, the Bounders and Southwinds don't even have that, I which know. is very cool. All right, coming into the bathroom here. Open up the seat. Okay, not bad at all for the step up. Good great, size great shower. shower. Great shower. Okay, over here, okay, there's the ladder. We have a uh, medicine cabinet. Yep and a sink okay. and then storage under here and i gotta comment on the cabinetry um it's not like that bright white like you normally see okay. in the holiday ramblers of fleetwood yep it's more like an off-white it's like off-whites yeah, like supremes i like it like yeah. what like supremes what's that <laughs> andrea andrea you don't know men's fashion oh i'm sorry it's, it's today's age it's oh okay <laughs> they're called off-whites they're jordans oh actually to be honest with you i don't know if that's really what it is Hey guys, do you think I'm a man of fashion? <laughs> I literally wear the same outfit every day. Porcelain, you know it. Andre, it's a great position, but it's too high up. Okay. This is not a prime pooping position. <sighs> but Andrea, I did see the episode of Shark Tank where they have a squatty potty. Okay. Now you're pooping right, you know? <laughs> All right. Going into the master, we have a pocket door there. Yes. Very nice. And look at the colors here that they have used with wow. their chair rail. Very cute. Nice king size bed. Oh, I look love that. that. I, I know, love right? that I actually splash like that too. of blue. Yep. They needed it in here. Yep, definitely. Nice king size bed. We do got storage above. Nice storage. CPAP station I right see there. That. Which is very cool. I like how it lights up from inside. Cute headboard. Yes. They did give you tiny little nightstands here. Electrical outlet. Andrea, wow. here, through the camera. 11 drawers. Oh, all mine if I had this. Catch them all. Go do it. <laughs> Beautiful. Very nice. Now this is great. Just do one of every row. Look at that. Wow. 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 And over here, and you have a radio over here. Very nice. Not only that, you got the... Hanging wardrobe there. Yes, you have a wardrobe here. Yes. A wardrobe there. And then, is it underneath? I always have, oh, no, it's this way. They trick you all the time and go up or down. Very nice. Look at this, a lot of adjustable shelves in there. Mm -hmm. And then we have this wardrobe. Wow. Okay. 
exit window and Matt, let's see if there is storage under the bed. I really like that splash of blue. Oh, careful. There's the bed. Maybe not. Nope. Nope, no storage okay. underneath the bed. But Andre, it's okay because this thing's packed with storage. And it's great. And as good as it is and as nice as it is, guys, we are going to give you the MSRP momentarily. But first, we got to give people three things we love about this motorhome and three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Oh, gosh, it's going to be hard. What three we... things we dislike about it. Okay, um, you go first. Okay, I'll go Truthfully, first. Truthfully, I don't know if I have Truthfully, any. Truthfully, I'm really just picking. But you know, you got to pick. I really, really love the dinettes that are in the, um, yeah. the bounder and the south wind. Yep. And, um, I would rather, I, I wish they would do that only because it's so comfortable and it just goes down really easy if you need yep. to make it into a bed. Okay, that's number one. Yes. Andrea, number two, I'm going to say the hide aloft. Guys, it's nice if you don't have to use it, but um, we just got a motorhome and our cushion up there is twice as thick as this cushion. And I was laying up there because Andrea's daughters and her were watching TV in the bedroom. So I was laying in the bunk over the cab because I'm, I'm, I'm R&D, research and development. And I'm like, man, this bunk over the cab kind of sucks. So I can only imagine that this is going to suck even more. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know, not no bueno, no support system, no, no good cushion. That's number two. Andre, do you have a number third? Oh, Matt, it's so hard. It is. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I oh, can't. If anything, yep. I think that you should go with the sofa. I, the that's what I was thinking as well. You expect it to be like comfortable when you come in here yep. because, you know, it is a mid entry. Yep. Um, it is very firm, I have to say. It is. It's not very comfortable. It is what it is, and it is what it does, Andre. And that's three things we don't like about it. Especially like the way it looks. It looks comfortable. Yeah, and so the fact that it's not, it's just kind of like a whamp, whamp. That's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Oh, where do, do you mind? start? Can I go first? Sure. The fact that you get a pantry and a stackable washer dryer. Guys, the higher end South Bounders uh, Fleetwoods aren't giving you that. Combos. Love that feature, love that feature. It's freaking awesome. That is number one. Andre, number two. I gotta say, I love the colors in here. Yep. I love the color scheme. Uh, big props to Fleetwood. They always do an amazing job. I love that, you know, everybody's on the whole white kick here, but I love that it's not that bright white. It's a off-white and it's different. So yeah. it's refreshing. That's number two. And then yes. Andre, do you have a number third? Uh, the number three is, I'm gonna say the amount of storage in here is pretty good. Combo with the overall layout? Yes. Comboed with the big 22.5 inch tires. Combo with the uh, availability to get liquid springs now. Yes. Just all in all, over round, just an awesome mid luxury motorhome. Well, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome is $218,500. MSRP. MSRP. Sale price. We cannot tell you a sale price, but it won't be two hundred thousand. It will be in the hundred thousand dollar price range somewhere. And Andrea, if you guys are interested in this motorhome, Fortis or Invicta, all you guys got to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab. Uh, me and Will, we will make sure we find you the closest Holiday Rambler or Fleetwood dealership to you. Uh, we promise to get you a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the entire RV industry. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Fleetwood, they, they do read the comments. Yes. So they're interested to see what you have to say. Yep. Thank you guys so much. I hope you're safe and well. Thank you, absolutely everybody so much for watching, and Andrea, we'll see you next time!